Imagine standing in the middle of a rugged mountain slope, the sun glinting off scattered stones at your feet. To most people, it's nothing more than a jumble of lifeless rock. But to trained eyes, one particular type of stone screams of hidden fortune. If you see it, gold could be hiding just inches away. Today we journey deep into the raw science and untold secrets of rocks that act as natural signposts to hidden gold. Forget myths and campfire legends. This is the field-tested knowledge prospectors have relied on for centuries, and the very information that modern explorers use to strike veins worth millions. Gold rarely announces itself in shining nuggets lying openly on the ground. Instead, it hides locked inside veins, disguised beneath layers, and hinted at only through the presence of certain rocks that act like guardians to its secret location. In this documentary, we uncover those guardians. Why rocks reveal gold's secrets? Gold is heavy, stable, and resistant to weathering. It doesn't rust or break down easily. But what makes it traceable is its deep relationship with the rocks it forms in. When volcanic forces pushed molten fluids through Earth's crust millions of years ago, those fluids carried precious metals. As they cooled and hardened, they deposited gold inside specific host rocks. These rocks became markers. If you find them, the odds of finding gold rise dramatically. Think of them as treasure maps written by Earth itself. They don't shout, but they whisper. Whispers only a prospector with knowledge can hear. The first and most legendary gold-bearing rock is quartz. White, glassy, sometimes honey-colored, and often fractured, it has been the partner of gold for eons. Gold loves quartz because both were carried by the same hydrothermal fluids. Prospectors know, if you see milky quartz veins cutting across darker rocks, especially in rugged mountains, you could be standing inches from hidden gold. Sometimes the gold is locked inside the quartz itself, visible as tiny specks or streaks. Other times the quartz vein simply signals the nearby presence of a much larger deposit. But not all quartz is equal. Experienced eyes know the difference between barren quartz and the kind that might conceal treasure. Iron-stained quartz, riddled with rusty colors or embedded with sulfides, is the kind that has the best chance of holding gold. Why? because iron and sulfur minerals were often deposited right alongside the gold itself. Now here's the catch. Quartz doesn't appear alone. It usually cuts through other host rocks that either support gold or betray its presence. One of the strongest clues is serpentinite. Dull green and slippery to the touch, serpentinite is the altered form of ultramafic rock, a type of stone from Earth's mantle. When quartz veins slice through serpentinite, the combination is a red alert for potential gold. Another is schist. Layered, glittering with mica, schist is often found in gold-bearing regions. When quartz veins intersect schist, prospectors pay very close attention. The reason is simple. Schist formed under extreme pressure and heat, the same conditions that birth gold-bearing fluids. And then there's greenstone, ancient volcanic rocks that turn green with time and minerals. Some of the world's richest gold deposits, from Canada to Africa, are hosted in greenstone belts. If you see quartz veins intruding greenstone, you may be standing on a fortune. It's not only the type of rock that matters, but how it behaves on the surface. Look for veins that fracture across hillsides. Look for rocks stained red, brown, or yellow from iron oxidation. That's nature's way of telling you metals are present below. In some places, you may notice loose chunks of quartz scattered downhill from a larger vein. This could mean erosion is slowly exposing a hidden deposit. Every piece on the ground might be a broken shard from something greater just a few feet deeper. Here's the truth. Most people walk past quartz, schist, or serpentine without a second glance. They see nothing but ordinary rock. But the prospector who understands their story sees differently. That dull green serpentinite isn't just ugly. It's a signal of ancient hydrothermal activity. That fractured quartz vein isn't random. It's a frozen river of mineral-rich fluids. Those rust-red stains aren't stains at all. They're warnings that metals, maybe gold itself, have been weathering out of the rock for centuries. And once you recognize the pattern, the landscape transforms. Hillsides are no longer just hillsides. They are maps. There's another silent partner to gold, iron. Where you see heavy iron staining, there's often a strong chance of gold nearby. Why? Because gold-bearing quartz often carried iron sulfides like pyrite. When pyrite weathers, it turns rusty, staining the surrounding rock. 
That means the next time you spot a quartz vein glowing white against the mountain, if it's rusty, discolored, or laced with iron oxide, it could be worth investigating, because every rust-stained vein is a clue pointing toward the precious metal prospectors dream about. But here's the suspense. Not every quartz vein hides gold, not every schist band is rich, and not every greenstone belt will make you rich. That's where skill comes in. The secret is in reading combinations. Quartz plus iron staining, serpentinite plus quartz, schist with mica plus intersecting veins. When the right rocks converge, the probability skyrockets. And here's the thrilling part. Often, gold is not feet away. It might be just inches beneath your boots. Now that we've seen how rocks like quartz, schist, and granite can serve as natural signposts pointing toward hidden veins of gold, let's journey further into the world of geology and uncover even more clues. Because if one thing is certain, it's this. Mother Earth does not give up her secrets easily. Gold hides behind riddles, and rocks are her coded language. The question is, are you fluent enough to read it? Let's continue with the powerful rock sign that whispers of gold's nearness. Basalt, the volcanic rock that blankets much of the Earth's surface, may not scream gold at first. Yet in many parts of the world, ancient basalt flows have acted as both traps and pathways for mineral-rich fluids. When these fiery rivers cooled millions of years ago, they fractured and cracked. Through those cracks, hydrothermal fluids carrying quartz and gold seeped upward. In places like Brazil and parts of Africa, prospectors discovered that where basalt meets older rocks, rich deposits can form. The key, look for contact zones where basalt touches quartz or schist. That junction often holds hidden veins. Gold doesn't just sit in the open, it hides in those fractures, sealed away in plain sight. Now picture this, a rock made of rounded pebbles and stones, all cemented together by time. This is conglomerate. It doesn't look particularly valuable, almost like a hardened chunk of riverbed. But don't let appearances fool you. Conglomerates have made prospectors unimaginably rich. Why? Because in ancient times, rivers carried gold downstream, dropping it into gravel beds. Over millions of years, those gravels hardened into rock, locking the gold inside. The legendary Witwaters Rand Basin in South Africa, home to the world's largest gold reserves, is built on this very principle. Conglomerates there hold layer upon layer of fine gold, enough to fuel entire economies. So if you stumble across conglomerate rocks in gold country, take a closer look. Those rounded pebbles may be cemented together with more than just sand, they could be bound with gold itself. When we step back and put all these signs together, quartz veins, schist, granite, serpentinite, basalt, conglomerate, ironstone, shale, and gossens, we begin to see Earth's secret map. Each rock type plays its role in pointing toward gold. Each is a clue in nature's riddle. The truth is, gold does not scatter randomly. It concentrates in places where heat, pressure, and water work together over millions of years. Rocks are the fingerprints of those forces. And when you learn to read them, you hold the key to one of Earth's oldest and most valuable secrets. So the next time you're hiking through the hills, walking a dried riverbed, or scanning the mountainsides, remember? If you see these rocks, gold might not be far. In fact, it could be just inches away, waiting for the keen eye that knows what to look for. And that brings us to the end of today's journey. We've uncovered the hidden rock signs that prospectors, miners, and geologists have followed for centuries to unlock nature's greatest treasure, gold. If you enjoyed this exploration and want to keep learning about the secrets of gold, gemstones, and natural wealth, make sure to subscribe to EGS Pro. Every rock holds a story, and every story brings us one step closer to discovery. This is EGS Pro, where knowledge meets adventure, and the earth reveals her secrets to those who listen. Until next time, keep your eyes sharp and your spirit curious. Who knows? The next rock you step over might just be hiding gold.